Thank you so much for joining me on this video. I appreciate you being here, your interest in the subject du jour. I want to bring something to your attention in case there are any doubts out there regarding when to fertilize your dendrobium nobilis, be they hybrids or species, especially when you see good signs like this. Nubbins, nubbins, nubbins. Nubbins are a fabulous sign that the orchid is somewhat waking up. These are considered winter resters. So depending on your setup, normally Dendrobium nobilis kind of have a winter rest where no watering is required. And again, disclaimer, depending on your setup, and they should just be allowed to chill out throughout the winter, the colder months of the year. If you don't have that in your climate naturally, they do need to get a cool down in my climate, they can get down to five degrees Celsius here in southern Spain, where I am at, and these guys live outdoors. So with other orchids, we're always like, yay, we've got ourselves a spike, and then we can continue to fertilize no matter what time of year, depending on the amount that you can fertilize based on your environment and your growing situation. However, when you see this on a Dendrobium nobili happening, do not think that now is the time to start watering, again, depending on your setup, or even to think of fertilizing, because there are enough reserves in the canes that Dendrobium nobilis have to bloom out. These are the start of spikes and subsequent blooms. Now, this brings me to a question from Nicole Allen, which I would like to address in this video, and that is how to force an orchid to get keikis. And I explained some of that in my reply, but Nicole Allen, if you're watching, I do not remember that I actually brought up this point with regards to forcing an orchid to grow keikis. And I mentioned dendrobiums are the classic example where we can actually do this. And another disclaimer, I have never done this before because I always want blooms. But if you want keikis, start fertilizing when you see nubbins. The added nutrition, despite what they have in their own canes, which they will be using so that they can bloom, if you add more nutrients into their pot and start giving them fertilizer, chances are that some of your nodes will grow keikis. So if that is something that you're interested in trying, please do that when you see your Dendrobium nobili or a Dendrobium start with nubbins. I'm really pointing out the Dendrobium nobili factor here because they are kind of easier to do and get results as opposed to other species that have their rhythm, their timing, and they will do what they want. Now I have the Dendrobium nobili species here, variety Cooksonianum which was a gift from Fernanda Nacimento Orchids and Succulents. So I'm not taking credit for these nubbins unless they produce keikis. It is my first season with this orchid coming through winter and seeing what this orchid does. Will it bloom or produce keikis? But I'm treating it exactly the same as my hybrid here, the complex hybrid that you can also get in your big box stores and garden centers. Big, big commercial mishmash of nobilis in this ancestry, and they are pretty much easier to get to bloom out or to get keikis out of because A, the stress factor of an orchid will produce keikis, but if I were now to fertilize my nobly complex hybrid here with 160 parts per million or more, then I am guaranteed to have some of these nodes produce keikis because of the extra nutrition. Once again, I am not going to do that. I want this orchid to bloom. You might find yourself in another conundrum with a complex hybrid species are much, much more predictable, but a complex hybrid. What do you do if you see a new growth starting on your complex hybrid Dendrobium nobili? Now, we always say when new growth start, the orchid is waking up and it is time to pump in the fertilizer, get those canes to grow really, really well, strong, long, ready for the next season. Well, in this case, I am going to be focusing on cultivating my nubbins so that they will bloom. And I'm not going to worry so much about this new growth. It can do what it wants to do. It is far too early, in my opinion, to be growing a new growth. So I'm not going to consider it the main focus of my attention. My main focus now is to get these to bloom and not produce keikis. So if you have the situation in your collection 
I would suggest let it be, let it do what it's going to do. This orchid is going to grow another set of new growths as the season starts properly, and those can be cultivated to maximum potential. This new growth is not going to distract me from my mission to get my nobly to bloom out. So that was just a little side note in case you find yourself in this conundrum. But if you want to produce keikis and you want to get going and see if that works out, by all means start fertilizing now. But this video is just a quick thing. If you want blooms, do not, do not fertilize at this stage. The orchid doesn't need it. The blooms will come anyway. The canes are strong and they are plump and they will not desiccate or collapse on you simply because the orchid is starting to get ready to bloom. Okay, we're still months away, but just in case you're in this situation this time of year or whenever your dendrobium starts to show nubbins like this, hold off on the fertilizer. The orchid knows what it's doing. We can sit back, relax and watch and wait for the show. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it answered some questions, any doubts, any hesitations. Maybe it confirmed something you already knew. And I look forward to being able to show you the progress of my spikes. And I'm going to think positively that I'm going to see Cooksonianum blooms in a couple of months. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate your time. Have yourselves a wonderful day on one condition, please. That you stay safe. Take care. Bye.